What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be testing out a Gruul aggro list. Uh, this one is directly imported from Aetherhub, uh, and so it has a few interesting tech pieces, uh, which I think are actually pretty good, some of which I, I'm not fully on board with, but we're going to try it out as is, uh, stock list, and see how we do. So uh, to kind of go over it very quickly, we have four Pelt Collectors, a really great one drop for this list. Everything else kind of buffs it up, uh, and so you can get really, really aggressive with it. Uh, one of the tech cards here is Graph Digger's Cage, so this kind of shuts down um, a lot of the graveyard based decks. Uh, it's really, really powerful in my opinion, so stoked to see that. Uh, Paradise Druid, we have a two of here. We're not really trying to ramp, uh, but it does give us a way to kind of get up to maybe a Questing Beast or uh, Skargan Hellkite, something like that, pretty quickly, uh, which is nice. Uh, we have Zertog Goblin. Um, this is just a two, two for two, but it does have Riot, so we either give it haste or we give it a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, and so depending on the situation, uh, we can really, really get in for a lot of damage. Most often, we kind of want to go for the counter, in my opinion. Um, but it, it very much depends on what we're up against. Uh, Domery's Ambush here is our removal spell, a big removal spell for this deck. So for two mana, we put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature we control. Then uh, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Uh, so this deals with planeswalkers and opposing creatures. Uh, if we've got something like a Questing Beast, that creature has Death Touch. That's very good. Uh, there is some, you know, kind of minute interactions there, which is really nice. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant, another kind of shock on a stick. Uh, so not only is it a creature, but uh, we can kind of remove uh, opposing threats with it, which is great. Uh, Gruul Spellbreaker, I absolutely love this card. Uh, as long as it's our turn, it has Hexproof, so it lives a lot of the time. Uh, and then Riot and Trample, so we can really do some damage with this guy. Uh, two of Clothis. Uh, this is a card I haven't actually played with much. Um, at the beginning of pre-combat main phase, uh, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a land, add either red or green. Uh, otherwise, you gain two life and it deals two damage to each opponent. So you can kind of figure out what you need that turn, which is really nice, uh, and then utilize it that way. Uh, light up the stage is just a one of to kind of help us draw a few cards. Uh, Collision Colossus. Most often, I believe we're going to be doing the Colossus side of this uh, to kind of give something trample and get a lot of damage in. Um, I've not played much with Gruul Aggro, but that's from playing against it quite often. Uh, that seems to be the case, at least. Uh, three Questing Beast. Uh, honestly, you could go four with this. Questing Beast is so good. Uh, it is a must-answer card, so a lot of times they will try to. Uh, and so it's kind of nice to have backups. But this just not only threatens the opponent, but also threatens, you know, the board, Planeswalkers, kind of anything. Uh, it's ridiculously good. Uh, Skargan Hellkite is a three of. Uh, it's a four four with Riot and Flying. Uh, it is a five drop, so it's pretty expensive for this list. But three in a red, it deals two damage divided as you choose among any one or two targets. Activate this ability only if it has a one one counter on it. Uh, important interaction here: if you do not, uh, if you give it haste and not the one one counter and put a 1-1 counter on it via this, it does still, you can actually use its ability, so that's kind of a nice little interaction there, just depending on the, the board state. Uh, and then finally, a 3 of Ember Cleave as a way to obviously finish the game quickly. Uh, as far as our land count goes, we are 9 forests and 8 mountains. Uh, we're pretty heavy green, and we want the green in the early turns of the game specifically, which is great. Uh, 2 Castle Embreth, very, very good. Uh, here we've got some interesting little tech pieces. Now these are partially what I'm not always on board for. So Rugged Highlands gains us a life, but it does come into play tapped. Don't really like that. I think it might be better just to play the Stomping Ground. Um, we only play one Stomping Ground, which seems kind of silly, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Ketria Triome as a cycler, I mean, it's a draw card. Uh, we can play it out early in the game if we need to, which is nice. Um, but I think the majority of the time we're looking to cycle this away. And then Bonder's Enclave, which is a, a great card, actually, I, I think. Uh, we, we most often will have a creature with power four or greater, uh, and so we should be able to draw a card off this whenever we need to. So that's the deck. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. I have absolutely no idea. I have not played with this list. I've played some Gruul Aggro in the past. I was not a fan of it at the time, uh, but that was pre-Ikoria, and some things have kind of slowed down a bit. 
um, which I think is worth noting. Um, you know, we've got Garuda decks out right now. We've got Winota decks out right now. Both of those decks are amazing, but they're not necessarily like the fastest decks in the world. So, yeah, I think, um, you know, we we can sort certainly see how this will go. This is not a very quick hand, by the way, um, but we can Domri's Ambush something if we need to. It looks like we're against the Luris deck. Very possible we should just mulligan down to a Graph Digger's Cage, I suppose, but um, let's go ahead and do this. Next turn we can get Clothis out. This is very, very good against um, this deck uh, because, you know, if anything hits the graveyard, we're able to kind of get rid of it very quickly, which is nice. Um, do I care about this is the question. So this is a Luris Cycling deck, huh? I'm going to go ahead and play Clothis out here. Um, I think this is the better option uh, to get out early because this is going to make them kind of second guess any of their cycling stuff, I believe. Uh, at the very least, it does devalue their cyclers, which is great. Um, and now we can Domri's Ambush, whichever one we feel the need to, to ambush. Uh, no blocks. Did get our land, which is quite nice. Uh, let's go ahead and play this out. And let's Domri's Ambush here. I'm gonna do this. Um, we can't actually do this again, but I don't think we necessarily want to. I'm gonna wait. Uh, I kind of want to be able to kill the Luris right off the bat. So let's actually just go ahead and attack here. Um, we do have the backup Paradise Druid, so not in terribly bad shape in terms of worrying about uh this dying we'll see though uh also guys i hope you're enjoying the new layout i tried to make it a little bit more user friendly for um especially mobile people i know we had a couple comments saying that was an issue so figured we'd do our part to make it a little easier um also if you're not already on patreon we do have our new rewards out i would very much recommend going to check those out um we've got a heck of a lineup this month. Uh, Cyclonic Rift. Um, perfect. We get to kill this. Uh, Cyclonic Rift. Let's take you out. We've got Cyclonic Rift. Uh, sorry. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, Avacyn Angel of Hope. Uh, as well as um, a Mystery Proxy. So. Go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, and we'll just swing in. Go ahead and play the second Paradise Druid here, just so we kind of have a backup creature if they find a way to, to deal with this one. Um, and you're seeing kind of the tech of this deck do a lot of work right now. Now, they're going to be able to gain some life here. That certainly sucks, but I'd rather get rid of that Luris. Uh, that is such a backbreaking card if you don't do anything about it, um, just because they get so much repeat value. There's not much you can do about it. Um, if they swing in, I actually think we block... Maybe not. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of the Luris here. Deal two, gain two. And let's swing in with both. Um, we've got the Ember Cleave, so not terribly worried about this. And that's fantastic for us. Um, <laughs> kind of a bad block on the opponents in there. Um... It makes sense. Like, I get why they did. Don't get me wrong. They were trying to kill it, so I, I fully understand, but I think that was not necessarily great. I left this up, by the way. That was a mistake. We could have um, technically won. Okay. Certainly hurts, but doesn't... Yeah, there we go. Um, we still win. Go us. Awesome. All right, well, let's jump into game two. That was pretty quick. Uh, fortunately, we had the right card in that situation. Um... Clothis, super, super good against Luris. So I'm very, very glad we did that. Um, kept up with it pretty well. So what can we do? What can we do? Um, guys, I hope you're enjoying all this gameplay. It's been really fun to just be able to, like... Uh, so I'm going to kind of go behind the curtain a little bit. Um, yes, we keep this. Uh, so in... 
previous like months and years even uh first of all this is as of today as of the recording of this video i should say um today is our our three-year birthday uh so we've officially hit three years of being on youtube which is great uh this is gonna go up a couple days after so sorry you missed it but um still really really cool uh I don't like this. Um, I'm actually going to be a bit aggressive in my blocks here. Um, I like to be a bit more aggressive in the blocks when it comes to this specific deck. Um, let's put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Uh, so I really, really like... Uh, well, first of all, I, it's been three years. I'm, I'm excited that it has been three years and we've gotten to do so much in three years. For the longest time, though, um, and you can go back and watch all these, but we've uh, we did a lot of cracker packs, uh, and what I mean by that is we we kind of made it more interesting, I think, than maybe some other channels. But um, we did a lot of like here is as many random packs as we can open. Let's do this and let's do this. Um, so we would open a lot of random packs. They could be from kind of anywhere in Magic's history. Uh, we went all the way back, I think, to 4th edition. Uh, yeah, I think to 4th edition. I don't think we could really afford anything above that. Um, which was super fun. Like, we got to do some cool openings. Like, we opened a Shards of Alara box, which was awesome. Like, that's not something that everybody can say that they've done, uh, especially in recent, uh, years. And so, like, that was all really exciting for us. Um... But unfortunately, that wasn't really what everybody wanted to see, uh, if that makes sense. Like, it was really cool, it was really fun, but it wasn't truly all that, uh, all that helpful for the, like, YouTube view count, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so, we kind of redesigned a little bit and restructured and said, well, you know what? We're not doing gameplay, we probably need to be doing gameplay. Let's do some gameplay. And so we we sat down. I It took me a while to kind of get the setup that I needed, um, mostly just because I'm a Mac guy. Um, I'm not going to block here. I'm not going to risk anything. Um, we can just kill stuff next turn, so I don't really care to block. Uh, so it took me a while to get the setup, but we finally were able to get everything kind of put together the way we would like it to be. Um, and we're really excited about it. It finally got to where we needed it. Uh, Let's do that. There we go. All right, second win. Uh, this Gruul deck is coming in clutch, I will say. Um, so yeah, like it, it took us a while to get where we are now, um, which is you know doing gameplay on a regular basis, doing um, hopefully more use or more uh, digestible videos for everybody. Um, and it's, it's turning out to be a lot more fun for me, um, personally. Uh, because a lot of those, like, crack -a pack videos, for instance, not an amazing hand, but we'll keep. Um, those crack -a pack videos were really, really fun, but they took so much effort uh, just to, like, get to a position where I could actually send them out as videos. Like, I had to edit a lot. Um, not the video necessarily itself, but I had to do, like, overlay stuff. Um, I had to do color grade stuff. Like, there was stuff that I needed to do in those videos, or at least I felt like I needed to do, to make it worth it. Um, and that's not a great place to be when you're, when you're, especially a new channel. Um, and not only that, but you're opening so much stuff and it's expensive. Like, it does add up. A lot of that was just, for the longest time, that was out of pocket money. Like, we did not have any financial stuff. That was literally just us paying for it. Um, and that was tough. That was really tough because it's a lot of money, um, realistically. And so we had to find a way to do that in a more effective way and doing just gameplay uh, turned out to be the correct way for us. Uh, so we're, we're happy we're here, we're enjoying it. And the, the support has been phenomenal, oh my goodness. The, uh, the support that you guys have shown, truly, truly amazing. Um, so thank you, seriously, we, we appreciate that. Uh, next turn, if we don't lose our Spellbreaker, which we very easily could, uh, if they've got an Ambush, this is a mirror match, um, we can Paradise Druid and Ambush ourselves to get rid of this guy. 
swinging in for a much stronger creature. We do not have Domri in our deck. Uh, this is an interesting card. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Good, they didn't attack. Well, that kind of works out. Uh, my creature, your creature. Kill it. Paradise Druid. Let's go. I'm going to kill Domri. Um, normally we want to just go for face, but I think in that instance, Domri's a little bit too good. Uh, it's a fight effect, which definitely locks us down in the wrong position. Don't like that, but um, thankfully we have this guy. So that actually is not the worst. We also just have Embercleave. Um, yep, gonna do that. Just gonna do this. Keep our guy alive. And just for the heck of it, we'll throw a Graph Digger's Cage out. All right, there we go. That's three games very, very quickly done. Uh, we are 15 minutes uh, at this point, and we ranked up. Cool. Um, that was very quick, but uh, this felt so much better than the Gruul aggro decks that I've played in the past, and maybe it's because of these tech pieces. Um, you know, in that first game, that Clothis really, really did a number on the opponent. Being able to, to keep them off of their stuff was very, very key. Um, they also were a cycling deck, so they kind of fueled the fire uh, a little bit more than I think most decks would. Um, not only that, though, we, we have so many threats. That, I mean, the threat assessment here, uh, if you look at like Paradise Druid with Domri's Ambush, for instance, that is such a good interaction because um, not only does Paradise Druid help you cast the Domri's Ambush, but until you cast it, the, the Paradise Druid has Hexproof. And so there's literally not, I mean, there's very little, I will say, that the opponent can do about stopping that, uh, it's short of like powering up their own creature. Um, and so there's a lot of really cool <clears throat> kind of minute interactions that get to happen in this kind of list uh, that I really, really like. Um, so I, I enjoyed that quite a lot. Uh, it went very, very well. Um, we kind of got the cards we needed at the right time. So I feel pretty good about that. We'll, we'll jump into a second video with this very soon as well. So you guys can check that one out if you're interested. Um, and please, as always, guys, make sure to check out the links. I know I kind of already talked about it a little bit, so I won't harp on it again. Uh, our Akoria giveaway is going on right now as well. We're giving away a free bundle. Uh, so if you're interested in picking that up, you certainly can do so. Subscribe to the channel. Comment. Doesn't matter what video, but you can comment on any video with hashtag Akoria giveaway. That's all you got to do. Uh, you're entered to win. Uh, we'll, we'll pick that winner on Saturday, uh, May 16th. Uh, the Friday, that, that Friday is when Akoria drops. So su Saturday, we'll be able to ship this out to you. So thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate it. I will see you in the next gameplay video.